time this season. Into victory lane. Cat makes the haul up from Gaithersburg, Maryland. I do need another hand. Hey, Bill. Bill. He is out of the car and uh, talking with father and crew chief, Bill Walker. Years ago, Eric Walker, uh, crew member for the late Smokey Snowbaker. That's a fond memory for him. Matter of fact, I think the last time Walker was in Victory Lane here at Williams Grove, he was sporting a Smokey Snowbaker t-shirt. There he is, cold drink of water, coming around to the front. He is your feature winner tonight. Give it up for the driver of 88W, Eric Walker. Dude, that was impressive. I don't think I've ever seen anybody put down a bottle of water that quickly. There's your checkered flag. Man, you're kind of tracked tonight. You like them heavy. You like them wide open. You like them fast. You got a chance to start up front. You took advantage of it. Yeah, nothing like waiting until the last race of the year to get your first win of the season. I, I knew when we had the pole, I knew this was going to be our type of track, and uh, I knew that we had a good shot starting up front. And at the Billy Kimmel Memorial, we had the pole, and I just, I just screwed up big time, and we ended up sixth. And that's all I've been thinking about since that race. And when I knew I had the pole tonight, I was like, I'm not, I'm not letting this one get away from me. I'm driving this car harder than I've ever driven it before. And I, my body feels it. <laughs> Having those few weeks off, man, my body's so sore. One of the things that some of the fans might not realize, Eric, of course, the super sportsmen do not have power steering, so that makes it a little more difficult. One of the things that uh, was significant tonight, I think, you hit your marks. One of the drivers that was, he looked like you were maybe a groove or so down off the top, running through the middle, and that really worked for you. Yeah, um, being in the front, sometimes it's hard because you're afraid to try other spots, and there was a huge hole in turn three down there, and any time I try to go around it, I just it just killed me. The car slid all over, so I just had to drive in and hit that hole every time, and I felt like the whole car was going to snap in half, but it held together. Um, and I just got to thank my crew chief and all my guys. We had some big-time troubles and hot laps. I'd go in the turn, and the car wanted to drive straight through the wall, and we had no idea what was wrong. I mean, and we just tore this car apart and were making drastic changes, and it, 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 it worked out. It worked out. Uh, indeed it did. Eric, uh, one of the things that uh, we like to do on Saturday nights is uh, tell the folks a little about, about the driver behind the wheel of the car. And we've mentioned so many times that you are by trade a scientist, and your dad was sharing earlier tonight that uh, some pretty good news coming your way as you've been accepted into a program at Johns Hopkins University. Yeah, I'm um, just going to be starting my master's in biotechnology at Johns Hopkins. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I work in biotechnology. I work with viruses. Um, I, uh, I do the kind of uh, work that you don't talk about. You don't. Uh, I, I do biodefense work. We'll, gotcha. we'll keep her there. All right. So with your uh, plate being really full this uh, this season and in the coming months, uh, have you given any thought to what your racing schedule might look like next year? Is that a possibility at all? I mean, if it's up to me, I'd be racing every race and for the rest of my life. But unfortunately, I'm not the one paying the bills. So it's it's up to uh, the car owner. And uh, it seems like every year is the last year, but we keep coming back. So I never know when it really is the last year, and if this one really is the last year, I'm just glad to get a feature win. There's probably another one? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, man, a great show for you tonight. Way to end up the season. Hopefully we'll, we'll see you next year, but if not, uh, all the best to you in your studies, man. You're, you're, you're a credit to the sport. We appreciate having you. Thank you, and thank you, Williams Grove, for having the Saturday Night Series here again. Uh, this, is, this is the greatest thing ever. I mean, the fans, I mean, we had so many fans this year, and just the atmosphere in the pits, it's amazing, and Thank all the fans that came out, and for all these sprint car fans that are here tonight, uh, check out a Saturday night show sometime. You might be surprised. All right, give it up for tonight's Blazers Body Shop Super Sportsman feature winner.